I, I said the Bible is a book, okay? But not an ordinary kind of book. So don't read the Bible like a novel or a storybook. Don't start reading the Bible. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia. I am the host in this channel. This channel is called Cynthia's Legacy and it is a channel that I set up to share the word of God. So this is a faith-based channel that I set up to share the word of God with the people that I love, that is you, my subscribers, and those of you who are watching and are yet to subscribe. So what is the legacy? The legacy is I want to be remembered as a woman of faith. I want to be remembered as a girl, as a woman who decided and purposed to walk by faith and not by sight. Okay? So you're blessed to be in this channel. You're blessed, you're highly favored to be among the numbers of people who have decided, who have purposed to live by faith and not by sight. The Lord bless you so much. So in this video, I'm going to continue with the series of what the Bible is. But today, I want to teach us how to start reading the Bible. So if you are new, a new believer, or you know what, you have heard a lot of lies. And after watching the last video that I did about what the Bible is, you're like, you know what, Cynthia, tell me how to start reading this book. Because if you don't, I will just start it anyway. <laughs> so the Lord bless you so much. So this is my Bible. I use this Bible because it is easy to understand. So this is NIV Bible. So if you want to start reading the Bible, I will advise that you go for this. Look for NIV. You can as well look for another version that is called English Standard Version. English Standard Version and NIV that I have are the latest versions of the Bible and they are easy to understand. They are in easy English. There are other different versions of the Bible that I also use. There is New King James Bible and there is a Amplified Version. Amplified Version, let me start with that, is too detailed. Okay, You can find that, for example, the word faith is also described. So faith in bracket, belief in God. So you can find that it is it is too detailed. It, they have opened up. So it is good for someone who has read the Bible deeper and just need to find out, find out the meaning of a word. So the Amplified is like a dictionary of NIV. So you can have Amplified version and still have NIV so that if you find a word that you don't understand that has been used in a sentence that you don't understand, you can still refer to amplified version there's the latest called classic amplified version so that is too detailed NIV is in simple terms English standard version is also in, in, in simple terms but King James version is in a beautiful language you can find thou art said <laughs> thou thy which is beautiful language but it is difficult in that you can focus on the language and fail to get the word or the meaning of the word that you're reading so at times you can focus on the beautiful language thou art said and you forget to understand what thou art said you get <laughs> yeah so that is why you need to get yourself an NIV so that is the first thing you need to do if you want to start reading the Bible what you need to do is go to a bookstore Ask them for NIV version. If they don't have NIV, which might not be the case, you get an English standard version. Depending on where you are, the Bible is in every country. And another thing that you need to know is if you don't come from an English speaking country, if you, if you come from, for example, uh, African countries with different tribes, different languages, there's a beauty in that. There are people who have actually translated the Bible in their native languages. So if you are in, in, in Kenya, for example, because the, I, I know 
many languages i know many tribes in kenya than other tribes in other countries so if you're in kenya you can get yourself an adikuyu bible that is written in your own native language you can get a luo bible that is written in your own native language you can get you know a bible written in your native language you can get um a bakuria bible that is written in my language you can get you can get if you come from uh, other west uh, other african countries like nigeria you, you just google if there is a bible in your language then it will even be better getting a bible in your native language so that you start from there because you'll understand it better because most of the time for me i can read niv i go to new king james version i go to amplified version then i go back to my native language so that i can get it better so the first thing i've told you is choose an easy to understand bible which i have recommended niv and um english standard version but i have said you can get your your bible if a bible exists in your native language that will be the best because you'll be able to understand every wording in the bible in a language that you can easily relate to okay so the first thing is get an easy to understand bible let's go to the second thing the second thing that you need to do is to start reading it from the new testament don't read the bible like a novel so there are people who have lied to you that the bible i i said the bible is a book okay but not an ordinary kind of book so don't read the bible like a novel or a storybook don't start reading the bible from genesis in the beginning was the one hmm? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then you read, you read, you go to um, Exodus. Please, please, the Bible is not a novel. You'll not be able to understand it in that way. So I said, in the last, last video that I did about what the Bible is, I said the Bible is centered around the life of Jesus before and after. Because Jesus was the savior of mankind. So when you're going to read the Bible, you just want to know about God's plan to deliver his people from sin using Jesus as a sacrifice. And the best thing to do, because you want to know about Jesus, this character, start with the life of Jesus Christ. So start with the gospel books. Go to Matthew. It will give you the lineage of Jesus Christ. Okay? Then go to Gen I mean, then go to Mark. Go to Luke. Go to John. John now gives, uh, you know, the teachings that, you know, Jesus has begun his ministry. Once you get to, to know exactly about Jesus, you see his life, his teachings, his death. Then now you can go back to Genesis and find out about the lineage of Jesus Christ. Get to know who is his father. Get to, get to know all the events surrounding the coming of Jesus Christ from Genesis. Exodus. Leviticus prophetic books you get to know the events before jesus coming so that is how to start studying the bible don't read it like a novel start with the beginning of the life of jesus christ his birth his life his ministry his death the life after the death of jesus christ see how the the church the the early church you know carried their their activities after jesus had died See what they picked from the teachings of Jesus Christ. Then from that point, now you can go back to Genesis and start getting to know why Jesus had to come, what was happening in the Old Testament. You get what I mean? So that is how you're going to study the Bible. Not like a novel, though it is a book, but not read like a novel. Okay? The third thing I need to tell you is, as a new believer, you need to start reading one chapter at a time one chapter at a time so read matthew the whole of it then you go to mark the whole of it then you go to luke the whole of it then john the whole of it because this will help to give you their the account of jesus christ every account every step all the way till his death then you get to know how you know the old testament actually speak about jesus you see yes so you want to start reading chapter by chapter. Even after going to the Old Testament, start with Genesis, then go to Exodus, then you will be able to relate. 
so read the bible chapter by chapter another thing that i need to tell you that as a new believer you you can't all right you can but the reality is you can't understand the bible alone if you're going to read it for the first time so i advise that you find a friend who has studied the bible okay this is tricky because maybe you don't believe in god but you want to start studying the bible which is okay which is okay because the bible is like a moral book so it will teach you about morals and conducts of a human being whether you believe in god or not so i know that many people who don't believe in god but they have friends who believe in god so get a friend who will not force you to love god but will help you to study the bible so that you can study it, study it together with them or you can study the bible and then you know find time with them to be able to explain for you what you have read thereafter okay this will help you to understand the bible deeper and it is good that after every chapter get this friend of yours let him or her explain for you what you have read tell them you know what i went through matthew tell me about matthew tell me about the number this number of many people's names what do the name many people's name mean and all that then now you can you know go to the next chapter and the next chapter and the next chapter like that so what read one chapter at a time and get a friend get a friend the reason why i was saying you start from the gospel books also and not genesis all through to revelation is because the bible has many many names many that is why many people get names from the bible it has been recorded many people have been mentioned many places have been mentioned in the bible so if you start from genesis you'll just be writing people's names and you know the or these names of people and places might confuse you so that is why you you want to start with my, uh, gospel books because they give stories which are interesting about jesus answering people people dealing with jesus you get to meet different characters and then now you can go back and be able to you know once the interest has been in you you want to you know you, you know when you read the new testament it's 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 simple and it is in a story form and you can be able to you know you ignite the zeal of of wanting to continue to read so that when you go to the old testament you'll not be concentrating on the names you'll be concentrating on the storyline and then you'll be able to understand the life of jesus before the, the new testament okay so i've said get a friend the last secret that i want to tell you is that you can pray fast before you start reading the bible why the last video that I told you, that I did, I told you that, you know, people say Bible has errors and contradictions because they try to read the Bible with their own help, their whole own understanding. And the author, you know, you need to know the author of a book so that you get to, you know, to know the book even more. Okay many people who read books actually know much about the authors of those books so the author of the bible is god himself so you need to you know relate with the holy spirit at a deeper level you need to invite him to be able to you know work with you through your reading so that you can be able to understand the bible on a deeper level and that can only happen through prayer the only form our line of communication that we have as christians or non-christians who are interested in understanding the bible is prayer so i will advise you that anytime before you read the bible pray because when you pray and you know ask god to fill you with the holy spirit to send the holy spirit to be able to help you to understand the book that you're going to read, to understand the stories and to be able to relate with them at a personal level. Relate with the stories of the people, relate with the teachings from, the, from those chapters on a personal level. And only the Holy Spirit can be able to do that, not me, not your friend. Okay, so I will advise that you pray. But if you don't believe in God, you don't have to pray. You just start why because the bible has some easy books and the bible has some difficult books 
which you only need the Holy Spirit to help you. But you can start with the easy book that you can understand. And that is it. You can relate with what you can understand. Start with that. Then in the process, the Holy Spirit will enable you to understand. Of course, one thing that people don't know is that we don't go to God. You know, we, 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 we don't even deserve to go before him. Once he show, you know, he can, he can see that you are showing interest then he will come to help you understand even the books that you don't understand. It will help you even to love him even though you are not interested. You can be an atheist, but once you start reading the Bible and desire to know God at a deeper level, God will come. So don't worry about you not being a believer. You just start. God will come. Okay? So um, as I summarize, I need to emphasize what I have said. There are people who say that... Um, the, some of the books in the Bible are so difficult to understand. There is no problem. Don't focus on the difficult books and let them not discourage you from reading the Bible. Focus on what you understand. Focus on the easy to understand books. Okay? When you focus on the easy, easy to understand books, which are the gospel books, and those were the books that are exactly about Jesus. And you continually read them and read them and repeat them and repeat them. You will just experience the Holy Spirit in the process. It might take time to come, but He will eventually come and help you to understand even the difficult books. So don't focus on the difficult books. Just focus on what you can understand right now. What you can understand is what is important. And encourage yourself to be in a group of people who understand the bible why because they will help, help you to understand the bible you know be among a group of people who loves to study but even me you can check me on my social media platforms instagram woman of faith you can check me on facebook princess mschana waimani you can check me on twitter woman of faith.ke once you find me just let me know you know what cynthia I read Matthew, the whole of it. Can we talk about Matthew? I read Luke, the whole of it. Can we talk about Luke? Or tell me, you know what, I've gone through the New Testament. Now, you know, tell me about, tell me about, you know, why there are so many Marys in the Bible. Yeah, so we can, you, we can take time and talk about that in my DM. We can even exchange numbers and talk about on, that on WhatsApp. So that, you know, at the end of the day, you get to understand God on a deeper level because you need to. God loves you. God loves me. And we have a duty. Just like God has a duty to love us, we also have a duty to know him. Okay? The Lord bless you so much. As you leave, don't forget to subscribe. Because when you subscribe, you show your girl some love. And when you show girl, your girl some love, you give her motiv motivation to be able to create time for God. And every time I create time for God, you benefit from that time. Okay? The Lord bless you. See you again next time. And don't forget to do what? To subscribe. Bye-bye.